Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to go over some Timu fails. And I do enjoy shopping on Timu. I am not one of their reviewers. Here on my channel, I just choose not to do that because I really just want to pop on here and show you some Timu items whenever I find some really good finds or some really good fails, just to let you know what I've been finding while I've been shopping. But my sweet cousin Danielle over on Glam Burgers channel, she does have a code. So if you've never shopped with Timu, I will link all of her information down in the description box below. And also if you click on her links for her Timu items, that also gets recorded in and she is able to get more items to review. So please go check out her channel and I will link everything for you down below. I have a basket full of fails. There are some fails that I've already returned so they won't be in here, but these fails I have not returned and I am showing to you guys. Today is 4th of July and so if you hear the festivities outside my window, I do apologize, but hey, it's 4th of July. So I am going to get into this and show you what all did not work out and why. And if you're interested in taking a peek at that, then just keep watching. I hope you enjoy this content and it is brought to you ad free. I have decided here on my channel that I am going to go ad free. And the reason I'm going to do that, even after working my tail off to get to a certain number that YouTube wants us to reach, is because they are making a ton of money. And Lord forbid if they watch this. I don't know what they're going to do, but they are making a ton of money off of us that work our tails off and they pay us 20 cents per video right around there. So why torture you guys with ads? It's not going to happen anymore. So I am going to remove all ads from all my videos. And you may see this over and over again. I'm just reminding you that you're going to get ad-free content here on my channel. If there is a way that you would like to support this channel, join me on Patreon. I will have all that information linked down in the description box. Or you can join the YouTube memberships. Just know that they take about 40%. <laughs> So that is how you can help out this channel if you enjoy this content and what I provide here. Just to let you know, I buy about 90% of all of my products on my own. There's only a select few that I get in PR. And so it all comes out of my pocket. I am also in control of what all I show here. So if you do have anything that you suggest that you'd like to see, just leave it in the comments for me. And if you're new here, I hope you decide to stick around and get to know us here. We are just like a little makeup family here. We love makeup and we love to chit chat and have a good time. So please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you around. All right, back to the programming. Well, I'm so glad you guys decided to stay. Let's just dip right into this basket so that I can tell you what all failed, okay? So I had ordered these little draft protectors. Um, it was closer around Christmas time. They're draft protectors that fit around the bottoms of your doors and it was to keep extra drafts out, bugs, you know, like as your house settles, you start to get, you can start to see a little bit of light underneath your doors. And I'm just thinking, ooh, spiders. You don't like spiders as much as I do. It's around that time of season where I'd rather have a little protector on there and keep the spiders out of my house. I bought these little door protectors, but unfortunately they just don't work. They will hit up against like risers so they don't fit up flush. When you drag them with the door, they kind of fold up and they don't stay on the bottom of the door like they're supposed to. It was just too good to be true. So they do have a little glider thing on the bottom and then they come like this here. You can slip it underneath your door and then you're to cut off, you know, the excess. And it just did not work. And if you had carpet, there's no way it's gonna work. Because I did try it like even on my bedroom door, it worked a little better on my bedroom door, but these are just a huge fail. No matter what door I tried them on, didn't work. There was, I think I had three, because I was thinking I was gonna put them on three doors. So this is the one I'm showing you because I was like, by the time I did it on two doors, I was like, we're not trying the third one. <laughs> so there's that. This one was definitely a fail. These little door protectors, don't get it. Okay. One thing I never show typically on my channel, or hardly ever, I don't even think typically is the right word. I don't show these things on my channel. They're like your unmentionables, your underwears, you know, stuff like that. And I am going to show you. <laughs> 
one pair and the reason is because i just want to show you i'm not going to just hold them up and show you my undies hey if people do that that's great like i'm not shaming you not at all it's just me i just don't do it okay all right so i got i love their little underwear selection that they have because like you can get them pretty inexpensively and oh maybe these weren't it maybe i just grabbed these Huh. Well, the stitching is kind of wonky here anyways. Like there's some extra stitching right in there for the liner. And I didn't really care for that too much. But that wasn't it. There was a pair. And maybe I just, maybe, oh, that's what it was. I threw away the pair that got the hole in it. So I just wanted to show you what happened to the other pair. Because there was three pairs in a pack. They were three different colors. And so what had happened within the first time of wearing them? I don't even think I had a chance to wash them yet, like the second time, you know, after wearing them. And this, ha this little, okay, so this is the seam here that comes up. And, you know, your seam goes, this was already separated. Like there was a big hole there. So I just tossed them. So that's what I was doing. <laughs> These are the good ones. But anyways, so those... I don't know if I'll buy this particular lacy kind of panties from them again because of the seam issue, okay? I have another pair here. Let me see. Um, these are more like boy shorts, but let me... Again, this one had a seam issue in the side without even wearing them long term, like one time wearing, you know, and washing. So this, 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 not this particular pair, I threw them away. That's what it was. I'm just showing you the style so that you know when you go to look. Okay, <laughs> that's it. So I threw away the ones that had the hole. I always throw them away because if they make them back into my laundry, I end up washing them and putting them back in the drawer and then I end up putting on holy underwear. So they go into the trash immediately. <laughs> okay, so yes, in the seam came apart in the seam came apart. So both of these, okay? And the nails. The nails are the worst. Oh, don't buy their nails. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Every single style I have tried, and I have tried more than what I'm going to show you now, they peel off. So aren't those gorgeous? No. You can't even wear them within a couple of hours almost you wet wash your hands once you hit them once whatever you start to chip them off and they're just black underneath which wouldn't be bad but it all doesn't peel off it just it's awful so no on the nails same thing with the little pink holographic ones same thing and they crack very easily or bend very, they're just not very good nails at all and then same thing with these little uh tiger's eye ones they were all a no-go okay these little hair pieces <laughs> i wanted to try them because i've seen people do these and they make them look so easy you know you just pop it on and then you know pull up your hair and put this on mm -mm. it does not look right i i know how to work with hair for the most part and like i worked with this thing i'm just gonna put it on. i worked and i worked and i worked and i worked <laughs> And I could not get this to work. Like, I just can't. So, I would say the hair pieces, not so much. I mean, this kind of looks good. My little, you know, half up uh, space buns with my long hair. Just don't, don't, don't mind my, my earring cuff there. But, yeah. From side view, not so bad, huh? But, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, they're long, they're thin, and super staticky, so they rat up pretty easily. Um, they are very silky feeling. So I thought maybe this one might work. <laughs> Same thing, and no, it just doesn't. This little thingy just does not work, and I don't know how they do it. Let's see. See, that looks kind of cute. You look at it this way. Maybe for just side pictures. <laughs> I could probably blend my hair into this one. But, you know. I even tried, like, for ponytails and stuff. Like, can I put this in the back and, like, mix my hair in and make a ponytail? But I'll play around with them some more just to make sure before I sell them on Macari or something. <laughs> and then for fun, let's just try this. I, this was not the right color. I knew it wasn't going to be the right color. 
But I was like, oh, let's just try it for fun. You know, I used to have bangs. You always kind of wonder, should I do it without you guys looking? I'll be right back. You won't see this part. Okay, so this is me with bangs. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cute, but like you really would have to work with this to get the bangs to kind of, you know, work out. I just, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. It's not real, you know, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just I don't like bangs. Maybe that's it. But yeah, there's, there's that little hair piece. For me, it was a fail. They really didn't have very many shades. That makes it a fail. The purple is eh, pretty close, but you know, I could maybe dye it a little bit and see if it works, but I don't know if I want to go through that much trouble, okay? So, I wanted this to work so bad, and it just didn't. And these are the little chromes that you rub into your nail and it gives you a mirrored chrome effect and um, I tried these over and over and over I tried gel tops I tried gel lamps I tried top coats I tried undercoats I tried um, air dryers I tried everything I can imagine and they just chip off I tried them on my nails I tried them on fake nails they don't work <laughs> they just don't work so just don't want you guys to, you know, if you want to try it for yourself, feel free. I'm not telling you not to buy it. I'm just telling you, pick something else if you want to save your money. So these are a no-go. All right, guys. So that's what I've got right now. The only other things that I can think of is this shirt that I ordered. It was red, white, and blue. It looked completely different. I kept it. It's not a total fail, but it has the pink in it. It looks nothing like it did on the picture, but it's a shirt. I wore it for the 4th of July, as you can hear, you know, the background noises, pro noises probably in the, you know, as ambiance in this video. But, so, yeah, you know, the pictures, a lot of times I like to go down and see where the real people are wearing them and see their pictures. Because a lot of times, it's not what you see in the picture, okay? So, so this was kind of a fail. Some of the other things that I've returned, um, they have amazing return policy. Um, half the time when I was returning stuff, they some of the stuff they would say, okay, we'll box it up, here's a shipping label, and, and there you go, right? But a lot of the stuff they were just like, just keep it, just keep it, just keep it. Even it was stuff that I wouldn't use or I didn't want or it wasn't you know, what I thought it was going to be. It didn't matter. They were just like, go ahead and keep it. So... I think some of the other things that I went on ahead and returned were clothing items that just really didn't look like what I had expected and they had no other things to base it off of. I think I got some like kitchen cabinet hook thingies that just weren't what I was looking for and didn't really do what they were saying it was going to do. And so I was like, this is not going to work. And so I just returned that. But other than that, it's been pretty good. And it's also just something where... It's so inexpensive that if you want to try it out, why not? Do you know what I mean? Like I like I said, my cousin Danielle, her channel is Glam Burger. I will link all of her information down below. So please go and check her channel out. She has a ton of amazing reviews. And I absolutely love her reviews. She's always selling me something. I'm like, yep, gonna pick that up from Timu. We'll send you over in that direction. Use her links. Please show the love to her. And also, I do want to tell you that I I did pretty much supply my entire vacation with Timu clothing and I got so many compliments and people would say oh I love your bag or oh I love this oh I love that Timu Timu so it became a joke Timu every time I turn around Timu so the thing is is that sometimes you will find things that you absolutely love and then there's going to be times that you're going to find duds plain and simple 
But the amazing thing is, I had a wig. I had a wig hair, and it was bothering me. And I just found it, just so you know. But anyways, the prices are so low that, and the return and the return policy is so good that you really can't go wrong. So check them out for sure. Go check out my cousin Danielle. And if I find some more duds, you'll hear from me, okay? And if I find some amazing products, I will be jumping back on here again to let you know about those. I will link a playlist down in the description box. Um, I even reviewed some of their higher pricey electronic items and stuff like that. So I'll link a little playlist down below in case you're interested. And if you're just here viewing for the first time, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. We play in makeup. We do reviews. And I would be absolutely ecstatic if you would like to stay around and say hello down in the comment section. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed my basket of fails. And so until the next time I see you guys, I hope glitter catches your eye but never goes in it. Take care. Bye-bye.